The Slothhead recently made a video which exposes Ken Goldstein, also known as NQ Ghost Hunter, as a fraud. For those who aren't aware, Mr Goldstein is a photographer who also makes videos which he claims are recordings of poltergeist activity and posts them on YouTube. Several people have shown how his videos can be replicated using off-the-shelf video editing software. For example, in this video you see items allegedly flying out of a kitchen cupboard. When people put it to him that he reversed the video, he says, look at the tap dripping. And when someone like myself points out that it's possible to edit two clips together so that part of the picture is running in reverse while another part is running forward, the comment is not approved. Funny that. He even altered the sound in another video by slowing down his own voice a process which can and has been undone, so anyone can see that what he claims are ghostly noises are actually alterations of his own voice. I have no problem with him making and posting whatever he likes, but I do have a problem with a person who tries to paint a falsely positive picture of himself by censoring criticism. He may not be breaking any laws, but the blatant confidence trickery is not something I think should be encouraged. He has adverts placed on his videos, so more views equals more money for him. I just wish he'd either play fair and allow freedom of comments, or admit to having been a charlatan. He can then describe how he achieves the various effects. People like Darren Brown, James Randi and Penn and Teller perform some great illusions and trickery but don't for a moment try to claim that anything paranormal is going on. Not all illusionists are so honest. Why do I think of Yuri Geller? Anyway, back to the video which the sloth had made. Mr Goldstein filed a DMCA because some of his footage was used. I don't know exactly how fair use works, but it seems that Mr Goldstein is more concerned that his viewers don't get to see the video expose. Logical Thinker 667 mirrored it, as did Vitoldium and a number of others. These have been removed thanks to you know who. I also mirrored it on my backup channel, and guess what? If there still are any mirrors by the time I post this, I'll link to them here. I'm a passionate advocate of free speech and strongly disagree with censorship. At the same time, I hate to see con artists getting away with fraudulent activity and feel an instinctive urge to shine a light on them when I can. I feel the same way about bullies and anyone who takes advantage of others for their own selfish motives. It may be that this guy genuinely has a poltergeist in his house. I doubt it but I'm not claiming absolute certainty on the matter. These are my opinions and conclusions, so for goodness sake, don't just take my word for it.